noite. Farem! The National Crime Agency uh, leads the national response for the emergence of 3D printed firearms. Uh, we do that in conjunction with our colleagues in counterterrorism policing. In this particular case, we understood that there was intelligence that related to an individual in the West Midlands who may have the propensity to be converting firearms. Little known uh, about him to the police, no previous convictions, just a general you know, member of the public, as you would expect, um, who just happens to print 3D weapons in his spare time. A significant um, pieces of weaponry um, that could cause significant damage in the wrong hands. The message to anyone who's curious enough to want to print a weapon of these types would be, first of all, it would require a, a level of technical expertise to do this uh, in the first instance. But anyone who was curious enough to attempt uh, or to conspire to produce such a weapon, um, they'd do well to take lessons from the sentence that's been handed out to um, to Portman today and hopefully that will send the message that the police and the courts take these matters really, really seriously and that significant sentences will be handed out to anyone who becomes involved in these types of offences.